you've probably noticed that at the beginning of every single program we've written so far, we type in this weird public static void main string args thing, and you're kind of wondering what exactly all that stuff means. Well, I don't think I've explained it. I can't really explain it all in one video what that means, but I'm going to tackle two of the parts. I'm going to tackle public and void in this video right here. First, a little background. I made this image that shows the hierarchy of a Java program. So at the very top, you have the program itself. Uh, <clears throat> really, the program is everything, but I think it helps to think of it this way. That program can contain classes. Over here in NetBeans, each one of these arithmetic, calculate, tax, do while loop, all the way down to methods intro, is its own individual class inside my J221 uh, project, which you can't see it up there, but there's like one of these, that one says Joey Harbor, there's one that says J221 above it. Well, each class contains methods. That's not what I meant to bring up. There it is. Uh, so, let's go to my return types 2 class. Well, I have my main method, I have my get input method, my divide by 2 method, and my add 10 method. Then, uh, I, well, I could have another class right here, and that class could have its own methods and this class. But, anyways, that's getting a little bit too into depth. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, for now. Public means that any class inside that uh, program can access it. So if we had this method down here as public, that would mean this method can go and access that. But since this is private, that means only these other methods inside this class have access to it. So what's really neat is... I can actually change these words. I can actually change all these public words to private. And I won't throw an error. Everything's going to work just fine. Because I have not really used other... <clears throat> I haven't used other methods there. Or I, I haven't really use the separate classes how they're meant to be used. I've just... I like organization of this way better. Alright, so I think you probably understand public and private now. Uh, if you don't, please let me know and I'll try to do a better video and explain it better. But now let's move on to void, or this void. We're gonna stick, skip static for now. Void is a return type, but it's not a return type. Uh, Void goes into the place of a return type. You probably notice on these new return types videos, I used to type void on under every single one of my methods. It was here methods intro, public void this, public void that, public void that. But over here, I typed in private boolean or private s string. Well, I typed in string here because it returns a string, but in, like, say right here, it's not really returning anything, it's just printing out a line. So, I type in void to let the computer know, hey, this method does not have a return type. As I hope this video has helped you understand what two of those words mean. If you want to learn more, uh, I sh I'll probably be doing uh, the rest of the words in the public static void mainstream args whole mess there, probably in a uh, later course. I don't think I'll get to cover those in this one. As if something wasn't clear, please let me know and I'll try to make a clear video. Thanks for watching.